this is the final episode of Ender MC. It's been a blast. I, I'm so glad that I've got to get to know everyone and build with them and, and compete with them and play games. And it's just, it's been amazing. But all good things come to an end. Or so they say. Okay, I have a confession. I've been working on stuff off camera. Because honestly, I knew the end was coming. And I couldn't leave stuff unfinished. Decorating! Got these cool little uh, hanging amethyst little lamps and whatnot. I built this so we had kind of our smelting area and we decorated it up. And then I was going to make a potion brewing room. And this was all like we got the stained glass effect on there. And it's just so, so dark. I'll throw on my shaders here super quick. And then you can see uh, I'm using the complimentary shaders for uh, version 4.6. But it just kind of gives everything a really cool sheen to it without being like overly it's like super bright. Yeah, this this is much better. So you get like all the different colors and stuff from that. The ores just like pop. It is so cool. So anyways, we come through here. Oh, we got all the Guild of Blackstone and this in here. And then the Crying Obsidian. Kind of has like a little bit of a drip effect every now and again. And then you come in here and it's just so absolutely dark and reflective. And it, it's like you're walking on nothing or walking in the void or, or something. So I was actually really, really happy with how this turned out. So I built kind of a monster head skull thing. Um, this was kind of into where we were strip mining and I took a whole bunch of the bone blocks that we had and I kind of made like bones all the way through and it curls all the way down to kind of like a tail down here actually all the way down to the end there uh we have done other work too not just below base um we'll get to that a little bit later why is there a glow squid in here I'll see you guys over at the shopping district all right, here we are. Home sweet shop. Um, look at the shader on. We're just going to come through. We'll do kind of like a, a grand finale tour, I suppose. I mean, it's th there's so much here to unpack. So many so many players, so many so many shops. You know, Tony and Sill, Iron and Expensive, Comic, Lagard, just everybody. So um, there are a couple other videos out kind of showcasing some of this stuff. Uh, Ligard had a really good one for uh, his contributions to, to Spawn and his big projects. Go check that out. It's really well done. He has so much more knowledge of everything that happened than I do. Let's see. We had all our mailboxes. Ours is over here. Empty. Oh, well, we I can't just leave it completely empty. There we go. Snack. Kelp snacks. So I actually haven't been here in a while. Um, join. Where are we joining? Before the end of the year. Oh, we are way past that. Way past that. Oh, I wonder what it's for. Abes. Abes. I don't know. But we missed that, so I don't know what actually is going to come up from over there. All right, let's see. We got digging it. Our big shovel of shoveling. And... Oh. Well, nobody needed anything. That's fine. That's fine. All right, so we are... What the heck? What is this? Or not, like you can see our stuff in the what is this? Why is there a UFO here? Who built this? Can you go inside? I mean the glass work is kinda shoddy. I don't think it would work for actual space travel, but what the heck? Can you actually get in? Oh, maybe ow, ow. This is really cool. I I don't know when this got here or how this got here, but kudos to whoever built it. I wonder what it could mean. Oh, there are so many mobs down here. Where is my base? What the There's another one! Are you kidding me? What is what is this? Why why? Weird UFOs aside. 
while we worked on the campground. I worked on it. I'll take a quick walk through here after. I have no idea why these would be here in any way, shape, or form. We come in here through the bathroom. This is how we've been uh, getting down to our base proper. And you come out, we got some of this stuff going. Uh, a couple of RVs, people have been moving in. This one, uh, not furnished. Uh, our little snack shack down here. Guys cooking fish. Oh, somebody was here. So, and then I wanted to go through and I wanted to make all the, you know, bring some life to this place. We have the campfires and whatnot. Got uh, some fish playing volleyball over on the beach here. And that just, that is so ominous over there. What is going on? I can't get over that. I really, I don't understand. I don't get it. I don't get it. Oh, yeah, we have our spooky grave. Why? Uh, this was with X and I, and we were just messing around one day. I think we can, I have that in an earlier episode. Um, and then I came through, I just, uh, added some green, some grass, and whatnot, because no campground is ever, like, perfectly mowed down or whatever. What is this? Oh, yeah, I was building, uh, tents. You know what? Let's, uh, let's throw another one in here. We need, uh, let's see, we'll go white and lime? with some fences. All right, we'll, we'll find a spot for another tent here. Hey, right, come up through here. We've got them. We've got some chairs and whatnot. Sit and hang out at their campfire. Ow! Campfires hurt. Okay, don't step on the campfire. There's a whole bunch over in here. Uh, originally, I wanted to put more RVs on this bottom level, but oh my gosh, I have discovered terraforming, not my strong suit. At all. Okay. Ow! Okay, fires. Hurt. But this place is like ready to move in. You can get people in here. Uh, got a little picnic table. Uh, Kel's actually made this. So Kel, she's uh, been kind of sharing my base area here with me. So come through here. We did decorate underneath the water a little bit. Got uh, corals, sea pickles. So over here, I didn't know what to do with this cave. I didn't want to fill it in, so I just put casual little tent and a single person a little campfire maybe they're living over here uh we got another tent up here Let's see if we can get up here relatively easily all right this was immediately a terrible idea let's just fly somebody came in brought their little pickup truck good to go um let's uh out a little bit here so yeah, a nice little little truck, little single person tent, kind of over and away from everybody. Um, I followed a tutorial for this. I'm uh, put a link in the description. I gotta find the video again and give credit where credit is due. But this is a quick little five minute truck, just some wool, um, some signs, some ladders, pressure plates. It actually turned out really, really, really nicely. I was really happy with how it turned out. And this thing is just kind of like a. It just, you turn and it's just like, bam, right there. I don't understand. I don't understand. So, um, we got a couple more things over here, a couple more tents, maybe some campsites that haven't been used yet, or, you know, people aren't quite here. And again, I kind of wanted to keep, like, some of this longer grass. It also helps, like, cover up some of the torches and stuff. Another little pickup truck over here. Bye. Another little tent. A couple of tents. You know, it brings a little bit of life into this place. Just just the littlest bit, and it, it, I felt like it really went a long way. I was really happy with it. I'll show you guys super quick how I built these tents. Way easy. Way easy. Let's find a good spot here. Uh, you know what? Maybe somebody's camping on down, like, right at the water. Let's put one right over here. Let's put it... You know what? This spot right here. Super simple. Super, super simple. So what I did was uh, I counted five blocks across. And, uh, got green, three fences, and green again. And what I've been doing, the quickest way, mirror it. This side will have another fence. Top one will be green. And then from here, uh, 
just with what I've been going. I've just been alternating the blocks. So we'll go white, green, white, green. Green and white. I mean, you can make these a little bit bigger too. You could have uh, like an actual bed inside of them. Um, and of course, the one thing I actually needed over here. Uh, and then I've been putting a couple of fences over here. So if you if you leave this spot open, you can actually walk in here. Um, I think just for like a little bit more continuity. Um, a little bit more structure. I've been putting this one in here. You can't actually go in anymore, but, uh, well, if you have a lighter, you can kind of do the, the fly loopy thing to get in. But, yeah, again, super simple. Let's give these guys a campfire. Uh, yeah. Maybe they're responsible and they put their campfire out. And, yeah, that, that's it. That's literally it. I know, uh, you know, I kind of went from no progress for several episodes um, to this. So sorry about that. I kind of got carried away one day and then after all that realized I forgot to hit the start recording button. Yeah, that's on me. That's totally on me. Of this effect. Anyways, that's where we're at right now. Oh, geez, that's the back of my head. The life and times of, uh... Groundskeeper Zach. Ah, uh, just a lovely day here. Lovely day. Had a lot of residents. Here, but, uh... Since the UFO showed up, things have been different. Things have been different. And, uh... Yeah. It's, it's just been kind of a mess. But we still got the campground, still got everything all good, all fine and dandy. And, uh, yeah, so we got everything we're going in. Okay, the UFOs were one thing. What is that? You know what? That's it. I've had enough of this. Is it a tractor beam in my campground? I don't think so. No way. All right, let's go give these guys a piece of our mind. That's it. Now you listen here. I have had so much crap from you guys. Wait, what are you doing here? <laughs>